What's going on guys, Begging Aaron in the background today. We have draft champions gameplay. I wanna show some more gameplay so you guys can get an idea of what you're in for tomorrow. You guys get this game tomorrow and I can't wait for you guys to get this game September 13th. It's rolling out. You guys will get it. Online will be way better. I'll be able to find a game right away. The hot market will be way better. Draft champions will be way better. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I can't wait for you guys to get this game on the PlayStation 4. I know you Xbox guys have had your shot. I know, but now everybody will be on board and it's gonna be great. In the background though, we have a special game. This is against NHL 17 streamer. JGT91, he's a good dude, and he's actually a really good player. This is the first time I've ever played against him. I've never matched up against him in NHL 16 or anything like that. So it's uh, it was kind of interesting. We match up, but neither one of us are really used to the game. I'd play more games than him, don't get me wrong, but we're not really used to this yet, so we'll have to have a rematch later in the year. But you can see... I have a little bit of trouble scoring in this game, but I do want to give you some tips and tricks on how to control this game because I think my record in Hockey Ultimate Team right now is 16 and 1. Here we go, check it out. Watch this. Yep, still works, still works. Still a little left or right. Pull it back a little bit on the forehand, tuck it. Evander Kane, and actually Evander Kane's pretty good. Only 86 overall, but he's got some speed and he's got a snipe and he's a wicked wrister. I haven't really paid attention to my synergies yet. Cause I don't have enough players. I just don't. I just don't have enough players, especially decent players. Cause I'm not gonna cash in a 86 overall for like an 81 overall just to complete a synergy. It just that just wouldn't make sense. The boost isn't big enough. And actually, when you look at something like Team Wheel, I'm not even sure if it did anything in the beta. So it'll be interesting to test those out moving forward to see if there's any effect. See if there's a noticeable effect. Check out Jagger. Check out, you get, this is Draft Champion, so you get all the special cards, right? Which is kind of fun and neat. You guys will like it. Here we go. Burn them. Oh, my gosh. What did Charlie Conway teach you, Bacon? It's a triple deke, not just the left or right. It's the triple deke. You guys remember that when you're playing. Triple deke. You got to go forehand, backhand, forehand. That's how you tuck it. Look at these one-timers, though. Jiggy's like the one-timer god. JGT's like, yeah, I noticed that not as many one-timers going. I'm like, I don't know. In other games, I'm actually scoring a lot of those. They're not making those heroic Spider-Man saves like that against me in other games. Yeah, there's the odd one here and there, but Jiggy seemed to have them all. He had the number. He outspeeds me there. I made a bad pass in his end, and it's going to cost me all year long because I want to go D-man to D-man a lot. Tuck that. See how he made some big saves i didn't capitalize on some pretty easy opportunities that i generally should have what a pass look at that that guy was right in front of me i pass it right through him right to his guy i just want to show how bad some of my passes were because they were really bad he does a bad one right here let's work this in here let's see what happens here let's see how this unfolds walking right in yep he trips me it still almost goes in the net I don't think this should have been a penalty shot. I don't know. I don't know what do you guys think. Should it have been a penalty shot? Should have showed you the replay, but here we go. We got a penalty shot. I'm going to fake it. I'm starting on the left. Fake to the right. Tuck it. <laughs> I think he might have been getting some ice tilt on this. He read it perfect. He didn't bite on my move at all. Like zero bite. You read me absolutely perfect. He couldn't have done anything. He was even down. He was even down, and I put it five hole. What a tuck. What a tuck. Absolutely zero skill. Tuck that, though. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I shouldn't have scored in that penalty shot. That's what I'm trying to say. I got very lucky there. I don't think it should have went in. But I did have quite a few chances that I did think I maybe should have buried it, and I couldn't do it, which is weird because in a lot of other games, I'm having some high-scoring games like – Five, six goals, sometimes up to seven, eight, nine goals. Uh, yeah, just a lot of them are going in. Generally, you get one or two from the point. Generally, you get a couple breakaways here and there. Wristers, if you can get into the slot, let the wristers go. See, he's firing it from the point a lot, and that's a good thing to do. But I want to give you some tips and tricks real quick. Hang on, here we go. Look at the speed. Nang, we're reeling through here. I just want to show you this shot here. I'm having trouble scoring. Watch this. Boom, another one. <laughs> another one. See, if you're letting shots go from inside the hash marks like that, oh my gosh, I got leveled. Watch this again. Watch this again. Boom! Oh my gosh. The trolley track. I was in the trolley. I didn't even know I was in the trolley tracks. That was unreal. That was good. Anyways, I just can't score. But my tips and tricks for you guys, if you were doing it in NHL 16 or not, don't pass like that. You see how bad that pass is? Like I did several of those. 
But whether you're doing it in NHL 16 or not, you got to work the perimeter. You got to work the perimeter. I know it seems like a simple thing, but control it in their end. Something will eventually open up and you can bury it because don't just, I would say I, it's a big flop for me because I always like scoring off the rush. But I think I got to change my game style too. Like, I think you got to work it around the outside unless you get a chance like this. Oh my gosh, that should be going out. I thought I should add a few more in this game. But anyways, I couldn't tuck it. Great game, JGT. We'll have to have a rematch later on in the year. As soon as we're both used to the game, as soon as we got our cheater exploiters down and we can just have a full out battle, it should be good. I'm just ready for everybody to get this game now. It was fun having it early. That's really great. But I mean, online is not the same when you don't get a matchup all the time when the market's not there it's not as glorious as it looks i mean it's great i'm not complaining but i'm just ready for you guys to have the game it's going to be good and i'm telling you right now i want to give you this tip because you're going to have a lot of success working the perimeter when people aren't ready for it so early on working around the outside wait for your shot and let that slapper go it's you're the slapper don't forget it anyways guys if you want to check out the last video click the link on the screen if you like this video hit that like button for me we'll see you guys soon